There are no graphics on the exam for the Sun Certified Programmer. Not one question. But I needed to write a graphics window for displaying text so I could use it in this course. It's called Text Window, and I have included its source code with the rest of the source code of this course. It's a simple class. All it does is display a text window, and it provides methods that display lines of text. Let me show you how I use it. This program displays the minimum and maximum values of all the fundamental data types. The first thing it does is create a new text window and set it to double spacing the lines. The rest of the program displays one line for each data type. The first data type is a boolean. It really doesn't have a minimum and maximum value. All it has is false and true. A line of text is constructed containing these two values, and the line method of the text window is called to display it. Remember, in Java, anything that is added to a string becomes a string, and that's just as true for Boolean data types as it is for anything else. The next data type is the byte. It is an integer, so it has a minimum and maximum value. This is the name of a class. Inside this class are some static variables that contain the maximum and minimum values for the byte. This class contains some other things also, and we'll be getting into those later. You need to know that there is a class for every fundamental data type, and this program gets the information for minimum and maximum values from each of the types. The care data type is a little bit special. It is an integer, so it does have a minimum and a maximum value. But you can't display those values because Java always converts care values into a string that is the character that the value represents. And the extreme values don't represent any character. To display the values, it's necessary to convert the care values into integers. That way, Java will convert them into strings of numeric values. The rest of the values are numeric and can be displayed directly. Here, let me show you. This is a display of the minimum and maximum values of all the fundamental data types. All the fundamental data types have a corresponding class. These classes are called wrapper classes because each one is a wrapper around something that is an entity of its own. The wrapper provides some methods that you can use to do things to the entity, like converting it to different types of strings and setting its value by using numbers in different bases. There's even a wrapper for the void data type. Now this sounds a little silly at first, a wrapper around nothing, but it turns out that the void object can be very handy as a place marker. There are times when you have a collection of different types of objects and you need something just to fill a slot for you.